What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sinister Cast, a podcast where I talk about music, my channel, and things going on in my life. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And this is take number two, because the first take I did, I forgot to plug my microphone all the way into my phone, and I realized when I was done. But I also learned where the video cuts off with my phone and it splits it up into two videos. So I know my time limits. I leave it to about 15 minutes uh, with my phone. For whatever reason, it cuts it off. I think it's a size, file size thing, nonetheless. Um, so this is take two, make it more clear and concise. Uh, first off, there's a couple things that I want to ask of you guys. Uh, first thing, main thing. If you're subscribed to me, please go down and click the bell notification, the bell symbol next to the subscribe button, because that helps you see my stuff pretty much all the time when I upload it. As of right now with the way YouTube works, if you were only subscribed to a person, it will not tell you 100% of the time when they are interacted on YouTube, whether they put up videos or post a community thing or do whatever, it will not tell you 100% of the time when they do stuff. So by clicking the bell icon, it's like a double subscription kind of thing where it will tell you 100% of the time, or so they say, when creators put stuff out. It'll help you see my stuff more often and when it happens, and it'll help me get my stuff out there to you guys. So that's the first thing. Subscribe if you're not, and if you are, Hit the bell icon. Second thing, if you have not already, and I will put a card, ding, right up top, go watch my cover of the Game of Thrones theme song. I spent a lot of time on this cover just in the last week. I did this, on, started working on it on Monday. So Monday, I spent probably four hours recording. Tuesday, I spent about four hours recording. Wednesday, I spent about an hour and a half two hours out in the woods recording the video for it. Yes, it took that long to record three or four minutes of video. And uh, I spent another couple hours Wednesday night again to mix, master, uh, edit the video, all that stuff. Thursday night, I did more mixing and stuff and then added the audio to the video because I was waiting for my buddy Daniel who played drums on it. Uh, because I wanted it to have more of an epic and realistic sound, uh, not with the crappy uh, fake sample drums that I normally use. I spent a lot of time on it. And one of the th not only am I proud of this video and the song, but I'm also really proud of the thumbnail. I'm not going to describe it on here because if you haven't seen it, please go look at the thumbnail for that cover. I tried something new in a new program to make my thumbnail and I like the use I got with it and I like the result. It is not, the, the, the thumbnail you see is not the first thought that I had to make but it's it's what it ended up being. And it's really cool to me and a lot of people that I'm shown, they think it's really cool. Look at the thumbnail and then watch the video. I spent a lot of time on it. And uh, also share it and share it along with my other videos, my your favorite videos of mine and stuff like that. Go share it with your friends and your family and stuff like that. Go to people at work and be like, hey, check this guy out. Hey, check this guy out. Look at what he did. Look at this. This is cool. Because unfortunately, when I do make covers, a lot of times they get a copyright claim uh, attached to them because it's a cover. Now, I could go and dispute all of those because I have a bunch of them on a lot of my covers, I could go dispute them under fair use uh, because I transformed them into my own thing. Uh, I didn't use any original parts of the original songs. I recreated them completely from scratch. Um, I could do that, but I don't know if it would be worth it. Uh, I don't know. That's something I'd have to think about down the road. I don't make money from videos right now, so it's not as big of a deal. If I was, it'd be more of a big deal. But... I also think that YouTube chokes the exposure of videos who have copyright claims, and this is backed up by a lot of the numbers and information and analytics uh, from my channel. I've had this theory for a while, and I think that uh, my theory is pretty close to true. I think any video that gets a copyright claim gets choked 
uh, in the sense that it can't get exposed or promoted by YouTube out to as many people as it could if it didn't have the copyright claim. So definitely, please, please, please go share it with everybody you know. Get it out there. Get my stuff out there. Get my channel out there. You know, I, I can only do so much on my end to, to grow this channel, but it's also part of you guys, the community, to, to help grow this channel into what it can be. So please, please, please share it. It doesn't have to just be the Game of Thrones cover. It can be any of my videos that you like, you know, your favorite videos of mine, any of them. Just go share them with people and say, hey, check this guy out. Maybe you'll like him. Um, it'll help me out and it'll help you guys out in the end. Um, so please go do that. Um, side note, uh, you guys know I got a new car because I wrecked my truck uh, at the beginning of the year um, because of the stupid um, winters in Michigan. Uh, but I was... I'm sitting in my back seat right now with my camera set up on uh, the, uh, the back seat of my passenger seat uh, in my car. And I was going through the pocket in the back because I haven't done that since I've gotten it. And guess what I found from the previous owner? A freaking selfie stick. And a good one, too. I mean, this thing is like, whoo, and it's solid. And it's got the plug thing so you can use the button to take pictures and stuff when it's extended out. Cool. I, I know that owners and stuff, I don't have their contact information and I think they moved. Um, so I'm going to keep it, you know, it's just a selfie stick. Maybe I'll use it for some videos in some way. I'm not sure. Um, uh, but hey, it's a free selfie stick. Anyway, uh, moving on. I had some questions for you guys as well in terms of my content. First one being, I, so I went to a distributor, um, to see about selling my songs and stuff. And, uh, as of right now I can pay for the service and upload all of my original stuff for free. And, you know, I keep a hundred percent of what they sell for and I can just get it out there. So this distributor would put my songs on Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, a bunch of places, a whole crap ton of different uh, places that you can buy songs from. It, it'll put it up there uh, for people to buy. And all my my, my, uh, my original stuff from videos I've done, uh, I can just put them up there and then sell them. And they'd be probably about a, around a dollar a piece or something like that. And uh, all of it goes back to me, so that helps. But I haven't gone through with it yet uh, because I know uh, one of my most popular things is my covers. And that lies the problem. So my original stuff, that's fine. I can sell the songs individually. I can make an original album and you guys can buy a whole album instead of the individual songs and all that stuff. No problem. The covers are a problem because they are covers. So if I wanted to upload my covers, it would be kind of expensive at first because... Say I want to go upload the Game of Thrones cover that I just did to this distributor to get it out on all the uh, Apple Store, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all that stuff. I have to buy a cover license. And the cover license is like $12 or something like that. But that's per song that you upload. Okay? So if I wanted to upload all of my cover songs, it's $12 per song. That gets really expensive. Um, and you know, in the end, if you think about it, if I'm selling every song for about a dollar, it costs $12 to get a cover license. I'd only have to sell the song 12, about 12 times to break even, but that initial cost is what's going to be expensive. And I can't exactly do that right now. I can probably do it slowly, but right now I can't afford to do a big bulk of songs at once like that. So that my, my, my question lies there. Do you guys want to buy my songs that way? If I get them out on Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, all that stuff where you can easily access them to buy them, would you guys rather buy my songs that way as opposed to uh, becoming a patron on my Patreon? Because as it sits right now, you can go on my Patreon, become a patron, and get all of my songs. But I know the monthly subscription type of thing kind of turns people off. Um, but this way, if it's on iTunes or something, you can go on iTunes, find my song, buy it for about a dollar, and that's it. You have the song, and there's not another charge or anything like that. And that dollar something goes back to me. Um, is that something you guys would be interested in doing as opposed to the Patreon being the only thing right now? 
Um, I just need to know that it's something you guys would want to do and you would do uh, for me to opt for it, okay? Um, you know, a dollar something for a song is relatively cheap, especially with how expensive things are getting now. So is that something you guys would want me to do? And I could put a card up top as well if you want uh, to go say yes or no, or you can just tell me in the comments. Um, is that something you'd be interested in? Because if it is, I'll definitely go for it, okay? Um, I'll definitely, definitely go for it. Um, it's just more of the covers thing, too. I just got to make sure I can make the money back that I spend to put the songs out there. It's a whole business thing. It's stupid, but it's something I got to think about because I would like to start making money from the videos and stuff I do. Not that that's my end goal, but it, it helps things a lot. It'll help me to get better gear. It'll help me to make better videos, add better production value. It'll it, uh, If it gets to a certain point, it'll help me to slowly stop working at my day job at a manufacturing factory. And I can put more time into videos to get more videos out or better videos for you guys. So it, it, it benefits us both either way. I just need to make sure I can do it and it's worth it. Which brings me to my next uh, thing. Um, okay. I got to watch my time because the video will cut off, like I said. But my next thing is merchandise. Would you guys be interested in Sinister Bunny Studios merchandise? Uh, hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, pants. I don't know, guitar picks, whatever. I don't have anything like to show you or anything, but is that something you guys would be interested in having? Because I, I can look into that. I know I've said it before, but I can look into that, come up with some designs and sell some merchandise to you guys if that's something you'd be interested in. And another cool thing that would be cool um, is like subscriber milestone merchandise. So I could do like a 300 subscriber t-shirt or 400 subscriber t-shirt that I'll only sell for a limited time. And so you guys can buy that and be part of the 300 subscriber club or 400 subscriber club, or maybe I'll call it 300 subscriber legion, 400 subscriber legion, that kind of thing. And then down the road, if this channel gets anywhere, you have kind of a historic piece of this channel that nobody else will have because you were here in the beginning. And then obviously I can come up with other designs and stuff like that that I'll constantly sell. But is that also something you guys would be interested in having? Um, let me know down in the comments. And if you're interested in that, and let me know what kind of merchandise you would want to see. Um, and that's about it with what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I feel like I'm missing something from the first take, but I don't think so. I think I'm just t making this shorter. Um, so yeah, just to recap everything, please, 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 if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you are, hit the bell uh, icon so that you can get notified when I put stuff up 100% of the time, 100% of the time. It helps us both in the end. Secondly, would you be interested in me putting my songs up on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all that stuff for you guys to go there and buy them? Uh, especially my covers and stuff like that. And would you buy them? So you'll have to let me know that. They'd be about a dollar a piece. Um, let me know down in the comments. Thirdly, merchandise. Would you be interested in merchandise? Hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, pants, uh, picks. I don't know. I'd have to look into it and see what there is. But would you be interested in merchandise? Um, very limited merchandise or constant merchandise, anything like that. Uh, it's just more ways for me to to kind of benefit from this channel because I can't monetize my videos. Um, so definitely let me know down in the comments. Let me know your answer to all of my questions down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I think I hit everything at this point. So I think I'm going to... Like I always say, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing with the bell notification icon. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.